Rudy and Chelsea, Planet Shaker, it's so good to have you here. Thank you for here. having us, Alex. It's great to be here. Yes. This is my first interview in English, so it's really hard for me. Okay. I think so, you're doing all, well already. If you make mistakes, though, should we throw things at you or just no, it's yell okay. at you? It's okay. Or, just okay. Get okay. Out. <laughs> you let us know. Let me tell you right now, your English is far better than our Spanish. See. Si. Hola. Uh, well, that's good. You know how to say hello. That's good. Rudy, you're the university pastor. Yes. But you're also a worship leader. You play guitar. Uh -huh. How do you get connected with Planet Shakers? Oh, I, I joined Planet Shakers uh, when I was 20 years old. I uh, just graduated university. And in fact, just a few years earlier, I had given my heart to Jesus in a Planet Shakers worship encounter. And uh, I knew that Planet Shakers was moving to Melbourne to start a church. And I felt God speak to me very clearly to go and be a part of that. And uh, so I moved to Melbourne when I was 20 years of age, fresh out of university, and uh, just began to serve, serve in the church. Um, I wasn't on staff. I didn't have a job. I just went to be a part of what God was doing. How about you, Chelsea? Yeah, I came to Planet Shakers in 2008, and I went and did Planet Shakers internship, which is now Planet Shakers College. And so I just really went and served. I had been at a church in America, and so I moved to Australia away from everything that I knew, it's a bit crazy, met some crazy Australians, and um, yeah, did the college of the internship and really felt God just speak to me to stay and, and keep serving, and I've been there for eight years now and married this guy. Come on. So now I'm Australian. <laughs> That's a good Australian. thing. Australian. Australian. <laughs> so you're, you're in charge of the School of, of Worship, right? Yeah, our School of Music. Yeah, so at Planet Shakers, I head up our School of Music. It's called Planet Shakers School of Creative Arts. And I also head up all of our um, like drama and dance and um, creative ministries. And so basically our heart is to empower the next generation of worshipers practically um, to be excellent at what they do. The Bible talks about you know playing skillfully unto the Lord. Hmm. And so we want to raise up musicianaries, musicians who are missionaries, musicianaries who can um, play skillfully and also have beautiful hearts that just want to serve God. Yeah. How do you two get connected in love? You want me to tell my yeah, side? Yeah, you, you tell your side. Go ahead, Ben. Well, Chelsea moved to Melbourne, um, and she was just originally coming for six weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and then she felt God speak to her and say, stay for six months and, and do the internship. And uh, the, the day that I met her, I thought to myself, if I hang out with that girl, I'll probably fall in love with her. But because she was only staying for six months, I decided, nah, I'm not going to hang out with her. So I avoided her. I didn't want to talk to her. I didn't have anything to do with her. But uh, yeah, when she felt God talked to her about staying indefinitely, um, we began to get to know each other. And uh, one thing led to another, and all of a sudden we were married. Bam. Crazy. <laughs> it just happened. Was my, that? My version. Uh -huh. He was so mean to me. <laughs> he talks about avoiding me. You were mean to me. Okay. But no, it's okay. He, he did it out of love. Hey, okay. It all worked out in the end. It all worked out in the end. Mm -hmm. in the end. Mm -hmm. That was... <laughs> How many years ago? 2008. Uh, so eight years ago now. Eight years ago. Yeah. We've been married since 2010. Yes. Is that right? Correct. Yes. Correct. So you're in tour right now. Yes. After you left Australia, where do you go to? We went to, we flew through Dallas up to uh, Virginia Beach, just near yeah. Washington, D.C. And then uh, we went from there down to North Carolina. And then uh, from there we came here. And then from here tomorrow we go home via San Francisco. So, uh, yeah, it's been a short, shortish trip, but uh, we've covered a lot of ground, and, yes. uh, but we're happy to be here. It's my first time in Guatemala. The, the band has been uh, once before you were on that trip, yep. um, but yeah, it's my personally my first time, so cool to be here. So how so far is Guatemala for you? Beautiful and delicious. The food is amazing. <laughs> I think even like the floor or something. Just, just the whole country has been country delicious. The whole country has just been delicious. No, the food is amazing. I, I really like plantain, and you can't get that in Australia. Okay. So that's good fun. I like it. Okay. Planet Shakers, people don't know that you're a church. Hmm. Absolutely. And they just know the music group. Uh -huh. But how do you cover your local church and how you travel at yeah. the same time? Well, years ago, when, uh, when we first started traveling, uh, we never set out, I guess, we never set out to be a band. Uh, we just started getting invitations. Uh, we were running a conference, um, and the conference kind of turned into a church, and we would, we would kind of, with the band, we would leave Sunday night after church, and we'd go out on the road and tour 
And then Saturday night we'd fly home, so we were home in time for church because mm. uh, it was just a small group of us that were doing it all back then. But now we're a big team. There's over 200 musicians in, in the Planet Shakers worship team. Mm -hmm. um, and out of all of those musicians you know, that cover all of our campuses back home, um, we've got about 20 of us that probably travel um, as part of the Planet Shakers band on the road internationally. Um, but at any one time, there's probably only 12 of us on the road and the others are back home looking after church. So just a couple of weeks ago, the band was in Europe um, doing a big event uh, in Amsterdam, Amsterdam, I believe. Yep. We weren't on that trip. We were back home looking after church. Uh, but now we're here and some of the other guys are back home looking after church because for us, um, looking after home base is the most important thing. Yeah. Um, we wouldn't have any kind of strength. We really wouldn't have the authority we have um, without home base. And mm -hmm. so we make sure that we take care of home base first and uh, everything else flows from that. Yeah. How do you train your musicians to become disciples of Jesus and not to be all, compet all about competition? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, as far as our worship team, uh, we have discipleships once a month where we meet together as a creative team and really just um, get poured into by either Pastor Sam, who's our senior pastor, or some of our leaders from our worship team, and just really, really getting back to the heart. At, at our church, it's really all about the heart. You could be the best musician or the best singer in the world, but um, we, our goal is to, to find people with the right heart. And mm -hmm. so when you actually come onto our team, you audition to be on the worship team. You don't actually go straight on stage right away. You go through a training process where you, um, we call them music, musician assistants, and you just serve side of stage and you help and, and you, you learn the, the honor that it is to be able to be on the stage and to lead people in worship. And from there, then we roster them on. But um, also, we really rely on our small groups in our church to disciple our musicians and to disciple the people of our church, um, just to really get them back to that heart of worship and that pure heart that just wants to serve God in every area of your life. Yeah. How do you deal with people and you worshiping God, but many times people like are worshiping you as a Mm -hmm. It's a music group. You're so famous. Yeah. What do you do with, with the group? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, that, that's an interesting question. Um, our, our heart is 100% that people would encounter God. Yeah. Um, you, you know, tonight, we're about to play tonight. Um, big, big event. And um, we're just looking forward. Our, our, our number one prayer is that everyone would encounter God. Yeah. Because, you know, in 20 years' time, they may remember the name Planet Shakers. They probably won't remember the names Rudy and Chelsea. But everyone remembers an encounter with God. And, uh, and that's, our head, that's our heart. That's our prayer. And, uh, and you know what? Sometimes people can get caught up in the celebrity part of it of, oh, you're on stage. You're amazing. The reality is you and I, we're sitting here right now. We're just normal people. We are serving in our church. We love God. Um, I, I think we would probably try and view that as just part of someone's journey. And so tonight after the event, we're going to be out in the foyer signing CDs. And But to me, the most important part isn't getting my autograph on a CD and going, there, take a picture with me, put me up online. The most important part for me is that I can look someone in the eye. I can shake their hand. I can say hello. I can say God bless you. And just being able to touch them, shake their hand, look them in the eye is, is just my way of communicating to them and say, hey, I'm just a guy like you. I'm just a person. You can live a life of greatness. In fact, they're called to live a life of greatness. Um, with, with God on their side, with an encounter with God, they can do anything. Mm. And, uh, and so if, if they get caught up in the celebrity of it for a year, for two years as they're growing up, you know, a lot of people are young, they're teenagers. Um, that's part of their journey. Mm. But my prayer is that they would remember an encounter with God. Yeah. Mm. Our high school students at Liceo Frater School, Mm -hmm. were with you on Saturday morning yesterday yes. yeah and they loved you they were like how are they they were like they're so humble oh that's so sweet we took pictures with them we had Come a good on. time how, how was it it was so much fun yeah. they're just what I loved is that there was just a, such a vast age group in there you had 10 year olds all the way up through seniors year 12s in high school and um just to be able to go in there and hang out with all of them and and take them into a praise party and then really usher them into the presence of God. And then the response time at the end, after um, Rudy preached, he just called forward, he said, if you guys want more of the Holy Spirit, if you just want more of God in your life, then come forward. 
and pretty much everyone just flooded the altar. <laughs> and our band members, we all went out. We stopped playing. We just went out and prayed for all the kids. And um, it was really powerful. And just the hunger that they had. Mm. We had a blast with them. They were yeah. so much fun. They were great. Many times things go wrong. Yes. They go bad. What has happened with Planet Shakers that have gone wrong? <laughs> we never make mistakes. Never. Nothing goes wrong. <laughs> Everything perfect. works every time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, on stage we have a couple of guys in the band um, which have microphones. Uh, mm -hmm. Tonight it'll be the keyboard player and the drummer. Um, and so they have microphones that you can't hear out the front, but we can all hear in our ears. Um, and so they keep us going on the right direction. They keep, you know, when the key changes are happening, when we're changing songs. When we're... So we do the best we can to all stay on the same page mm. um, with little tricks like that. But, hey, every now and again, things go wrong. Uh, I remember we were just talking about this earlier. Um, one, of the, one of the large events we've done in Asia, we're in an outdoor stadium and there were, were about 220,000 people there. Mm. And all of our foldback stopped working. And uh, when you're in a stadium that big and when you're all trying to play together and lead each other, Echo. it's crazy. <laughs> Impossible. Um, and so we, we kind of just scrambled and we just made it all work and we ended up having just, just three speakers at the front, which we had a choice of putting five things in. And so we said, I'll put this, 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 this and this in. And we all just worked off of those three speakers. But we, good. we made it work. And uh, <laughs> of course, we love it when everything's perfect and everything's comfortable and it works well. But hey, if it's not... We're going to do the best we can anyway. Yeah. And uh, we've, we've had some interesting mistakes, happen. and we call them train wrecks. Yes. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> thankfully... If only you could hear what we hear in our heads, yeah. all the talking and everything that's happening. Thankfully, it's not too common anymore. No, it's not. Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good fun. Many musicians in Latin America and many singers, they think too much about the people. Uh -huh. So they don't move, they just sing or they play the guitar, but... What can they do to just express themselves mm. well with their bodies and just get into it? Well, have you ever been to a football match before? Oh, yes. I'm talking about church. We call it soccer. Ah, okay. You call it football? Yes, football soccer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've been to a football match before, right? People raise their hands. They shout. They jump up and down. Do you know what we're shouting about when we go to a football match? It's a ball of leather filled with air. And we go crazy about it. Wow! I'm the same. I love, I love, uh, my favorite sport is NBA. And so I love, I, I just watched the NBA finals last week. I was going crazy. I was like, this is amazing. So funny. Isn't it funny though, that we can show so much more passion mm -hmm. about a sports match. Mm. And we can sometimes show more passion for sports than we can for our savior. That doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense that we can lift our hands and use our voice and dance when we're at a sporting match, but then we come into church and we quieten right down and we get embarrassed or mm -hmm. we're like, oh no, we don't, we don't want to get emotional about it. Let's hang on a, hang on a second. This is, this is the savior of our life. This is God, the creator of the universe. Mm -hmm. I mean, surely that's the greatest reason in the world to be passionate, to have our emotions engaged. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so we, we believe in a biblical praise yeah. and we believe in a biblical worship. Yeah. And in the Bible, it talks about clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. It talks about dancing before the Lord with all of our might. It talks about, um, you know, falling to our knees in worship. All of those things are part of what is in the Bible. Um, and, and, and so we would, we would encourage people to put aside their insecurities or to put aside their uh, religiosity or to put aside, you know, whatever kind of things that they would come into church feeling and say, hey, praise and worship is Part of it is emotion. You know, some people look at it and say, oh, it's all just hype. It's all emotionalism. Well, it is emotional, but it's not all emotional. It's spiritual. It's also scriptural. It's biblical. It's part of being a Christian. I want to give God all of my praise, which means all of my heart, yeah. all of my mind, yeah. all of my body, all of my energy. I want to give him all of it. Part of it is going to be very still moments. Part of it is going to be very quiet moments. But then part of it is also dancing. And uh, it's in the Bible. It's in our church, and it's going to be there tonight. We're looking forward to it. We're fun. Come on. Is there a song that makes you cry every time you sing it? Oh, my goodness. There's probably a million of them. <laughs> uh, as far as, like, our, our music goes? Or yes. just, or, yeah. Um, honestly, it's, it's some of our newer music that you guys probably haven't heard yet. 
Um, and I think for me, it's because the songs that we write are really about where we are at as a church. And so because I'm in the thick of that and I, I know that spiritual climate and atmosphere of where we're at as a church that speaks so clearly to me. So this is actually one we're going to sing tonight um, called I Know Who You Are. And it's all just about um, understanding that Jesus was a human. He walked the earth, so he understands what we're going through. You know, he walked the path that we're walking today. He went through the things that we're going through, and I think we can forget that. And so that song just really talks about, God, I know who you are. No matter what I go through, I know that you're going to come through. Though I can't see it right now, though I don't have anything left, I know, I know who you are. And so for me, that song, I'll probably cry tonight. So I'll just be on stage singing. You sing it out. I'll be watching you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But there'll be tears. There'll be tears. Some blubbering. It'll be great. But yeah, that song for me right now is, is quite powerful. So, Jesus Christ. Yes. Who is he for Planet Shakers? Everything. Everything. He's the center of everything we do. Um, years ago, our senior pastor, Pastor Russell, was a, a youth pastor in Adelaide. And uh, he had a powerful encounter with God one day. Um, just felt like the Holy Spirit knocked him out. And uh, while he was having this encounter with God, he felt God speak to him and say, start a conference, and call it Planet Shakers. Um, he'd never heard that name before. He never knew what that was about. And he said to God, he's like, what is that, God? And God said back to him, he said, you'll see. And uh, so he was obedient to that word. And that very next year, had a conference for young people, called it Planet Shakers. And God said, do it again. So the following year, had a conference called it Planet Shakers. 20 years later, we've, we've now had you know, the, the largest Christian conference in Australia. Uh, we've got conferences all over the world. We've got churches all over the world. We've got a church in Melbourne. We've got our worship team that tours. We've got 30-something albums. And, uh, but it all started with an encounter with Jesus. Mm. And, uh, and every time we have, an, have a church service, every time we lead worship, every time uh, we have our conference, a- anything we do, our prayer is that people would encounter Jesus. Yeah. Um, we could come and teach them how to do church. Oh, this is how we do church. This is how we play music. This is, and look, some people are interested in that, and some, sometimes that's beneficial, but we're not so much about saying, here's the information. We're more about saying, here's an impartation. Mm-hmm. Have an encounter with Jesus. Yeah. Jesus will speak to you. Jesus will stir up the dream for your life. Jesus will minister to you and empower you. And the whole heart behind Planet Shaker's Ministries is this. It's empowering generations to win, to win generations. And, uh, and our, our great prayer for everything we do is that people would encounter Jesus. Yeah. He's the one that changes lives. Yeah. Is there any way you can sing a small part of a song? Together? Yeah, absolutely. Which one? We can do Nada Es Imposible. Okay. We can do that one if you'd like. Sure. All right. Um, my Spanish is a little bit rusty. No problem. Well, my English is... <laughs> I'll just I'll just put out a when we recorded this we did have a Spanish speaking person in the room with us saying we a, no we had a coach stop a coach a coach stop she, it she coached oh, us and no. then yeah that was a good one there was one good take out of about twenty bad yeah. we got there we got there in the nada es imposible so close yeah see <laughs> I, I'm just yeah she would have been very upset with that very no, upset but no. let's see uh, yeah nada es imposible which is our um, sp- Spanish album so. En ti todo es posible, todo lo puedo, por la fuerza que me das. Nada es imposible, en ti mis ojos se abren, cadenas se rompen, ahora vivo por fe. Nada es imposible, <laughs> creo en ti, creo en ti. That's good. Is that right? That's good. That's good. Jesus. <laughs> Come on. Well, thanks for traveling the word. Thanks for spreading the, the word. Thank for you. For preaching about Jesus. Awesome. Well, thank you for having us. And yeah. It's an absolute honor to be here. We're super pumped for tonight. We are. It's going to be amazing. Come on. Come ready. Hearts open. It's going to be awesome. Thank you.